What up, man? Also, your boy, Shaka360 from Manosos.com, and here we go with another perfect defensive video, and today we're playing, actually, a tournament game, and this is the second round of the Turkey Bowl tournament for $200. Now, we're going to have another tournament called the Ice Bowl. We have it every year. That one's for $200 tournaments. Make sure you guys register at Manosos.com for that one as well. It's a free tournament, $200 prize, double elimination. It's really fun, and there's a lot of people in this tournament. There's actually, like, 40 players registered for that, so that's a, a lot of players right there our next goal is hopefully get it to around 60 and uh probably a more than that so uh we'll see what happens but anyways uh here we go we're about to get started with our defense also i have a new group called a uh, facebook group called uh, madden all-star secret society you can go ahead and join that group i'm also gonna be sending emails of that new group that i created so you guys can go ahead and be part of the group at madden all-stars or anything that's going on any new tip anything you guys will be the first ones to get it so uh here we go Gonna go ahead and get started here uh, with the 439 wide. Uh, basically, it's a real basic setup that I'm using. I'm gonna go ahead and set up my blitz. Five man blitz with one of the linebackers on the outside blitzing. In this case, we got Bowman blitzing. I like to put them next to the line. Sometimes I like to meet up up there. I leave them up there or I put them down depending. Just wanna make uh, the offensive line have a different look every single time I'm on defense because uh, once they get used to it, they start adjusting a little bit better to the blitzes or they start uh you know uh, the ai gets a little bit smarter every single time you send the same blitz or, and and stuff like that so we're gonna go ahead and switch it up so here we go with our next defensive series we score on offense we're coming back on defense it's time for us to go ahead and keep uh doing our thing on defense keep uh keep uh, the momentum up since we already uh, score ahead and we receive in the second half so here we go lurking in the middle of the field uh, this is actually the first time somebody tries this against me where they do a little, uh, you know, they, they cancel the auto drop back and then they just run it up the gut right here. So I didn't really expect that. So that's why I left this time right there. I sent the A gap there. Actually, that was a <clears throat> screen. So the DT went straight in. And at the same time, I left the middle linebackers to the inside instead of spreading them out, I leave them there. And I have one of the middle linebackers blitzing or the outside linebackers blitzing there. You see how they're to the inside this time? Now, as you guys can see there, I mean, that was just a lucky-ass break. Uh, that's, that quarterback should have been sacked right there. But you guys know that animation where they always get away. And that's why I really I hate, man. Because that blitz is there. That should have been a sack. And we don't get it. So, again, I noticed that he likes to run down the middle with a quarterback. So, I leave the linebackers there. I don't spread them in this situation. And I'm going to go ahead and send the blitz there. <clears throat> he got me here with this route with a tight end. So, I got to watch out for that route. So, I, I started noticing that that's probably one of his primary routes. So, we're going to go ahead and try to take that first read away so we're gonna move smith to the outside just in case he wants to do a little counter or yep there it is that counter trade right there to the outside and we got the nice pursuit right here and we get a nice tackle and he doesn't get any yards at all so here we go we're gonna go this time move him to the outside. you see how i had him in the inside then i move him to the outside this this time we're gonna go ahead and leave him right here in the top lurk that tight end and he comes out in the trail route so we got um, the tight end coming up, and then he comes out with a little um, route with the running back, probably like a baby blue route or, uh, yeah, a blue route with the running back. Uh, usually comes out as a delay a delay route, really hard to guard against zone. So I got to be watching out for two routes, the tight end route, <clears throat> the running back, and at the same time, I'm going to have to blitz the either the left or right outside linebacker. This time, I'm going to go ahead and come out in the cover two invert out of the 439 wide, and I'm going to set up the blitz. So you guys can see here, I leave it like this. This time I got more run support by the safeties because the safeties are in flat zone. So that's going to help me out a lot. So here we go. About to go into the two-minute warning. We're setting up, tight end. We're guarding him there. Now he has two routes. So <clears throat> first, he had a curl route with the running back, the tight end, and then he threw it to the tight end. Then he threw it to the running back. Now he has another route. So he has three reads on the middle. So I got to put a lot more people in coverage this time around or maybe cross um uh, adjust this time coming out in the four six bear under just to give him a different look as you guys can see there and it's also a really nice run stopper even though i didn't even do a good job here uh this does stop the run pretty good so <clears throat> we're mixing it up like i said around this area i like to mix it up just switch it up a little bit make him think i'm going four three wide maybe his game plan is to attack the middle and then i come out in the four six bear under and switch it up all of a sudden so he's getting me good here i shouldn't have this is probably not a good defense to use against him right now but he's, he's coming out no huddle just gonna have to keep adjusting and i'm gonna put uh, everybody in the box here so we can go ahead and try to stop that run that he's coming out in and right there we got him this time and he's probably pretty sure he's not gonna come out in the same play again so uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to come out again in the 4-6 uh, bear under. 
just to give him a, a different look, man. I don't want him to come out in the four nine wide and then, uh, you know, he's getting used to it. So here we go. We're containing and we're going to go ahead and crash down. And then we're just going to go ahead and lurk the middle of the field here with the middle linebacker. So you guys can see here that tight end trying to take those three reads away. There he goes. So what is his final step right there? He decides to run with a quarterback once again. So uh, after lurking those two routes, uh, this time he decides to run it in as his final read <clears throat> basically he didn't have anything open because i was right there to actually lock those two routes up but he got me there good so we're gonna go ahead and have to come out in the last 40 seconds of the game and try to lock up so i'm gonna come out in 439 wide it has really good coverage over the top that's why i like it this time i send the blitz off the edge notice that i he caught me while i was moving him down but then i switched it back up a lot uh back to the middle linebacker that's really what i like to do a lot and sometimes i do to get a little turbo blitz uh, off the edge and he comes in uh, untouched so <clears throat> here we go i'm gonna go ahead and man up that slot receiver on the right because last time he threw it to that route so i gotta watch out right here for any slot receiver coming across right there he decides to run but guess what big mistake uh i strip every single time guys i don't know if you guys know how to strip but i strip learn how to strip guys right bumper or r1 okay Every time I tackle, I press R1. No matter what, I press R1 hard. And I made the guy fumble there. We got the ball, ball back 28-7. We milked the clock all the way to the two-minute. Uh, I mean, we just milked the clock. So uh, it's a tournament. That's what I'm going to do. And I'll show you guys the tournament side of playing a perfect offense in a tournament. And uh, you guys can go ahead and, and study that so you can help you guys out. So here we go. 28-7. We're going to come out in a different defense. I come out in 3-3-5. I'm trying to look for it. I can't find it. I don't know. Sometimes the plays don't come out. So I'm going to come out in 3-4. This time, just give him something different. Uh, just so he won't, uh, you know, start uh, guessing what I'm doing. Like, uh, he knows where I'm at. So I'm going to go ahead and switch it up right here. Uh, it came out in cover 3. Should have come out in cover 2 invert. That's a lot, has a lot better coverage. And this time, I'm just going to look in the middle of the field with the uh, safety. He got me good here in this route. And I should have I shouldn't just... Uh, I didn't adjust really good in this defense. But... Here we go. We're going to go ahead and do our best. Even though he catches me in a bad defense, I'm just going to go ahead and keep doing my thing and adjusting. So here we go. Once again, coming on that 3-4 bear. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and, and, and shoot the linebackers to the right, to the left. Okay, base the line and just lurk the middle of the field there. We got him. Really nice read. He, guys, he threw that earlier today. So I was just waiting to lock that shit up. We got it pretty much game over, guys. And we advanced to the third round of the Turkey Bowl for a $200 prize, guys. So don't miss out, guys. Uh, make sure you comment, like, and subscribe for more perfect defensive videos. Hope this helps you guys out. Let me know what type of defense you run. Let me know if you guys need more type of help like this. Hopefully, you guys like this series because this is what I run. I'm in the top 100, about to hit top 100 on Xbox One. I'm in a 20-game win winning streak on Xbox One. This Everything I do here, go ahead and check it out. Till later, it's your boy, Shaka360 from Manosos.com. Bye. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe down here below for more tips, more strategies, more schemes, more gameplays, more tournaments, and more giveaway prices. Later, it's your boy, Shock360. Hit that like button. Don't forget, comment, and subscribe.